Hello everyone, welcome back to this back of AX8000 motion control series video. And in this video, we will discuss the number five. I will show the performance of this cogging compensation from back of AX5000 or AX8000 drive system. And to learn the detail of this cogging compensation, you can download this file, AX5000 server drive information cogging compensation. This file, just the seven pages if we scroll down and you will find this key page. So the cogging compensation that's specially for the servo motor that compensate this permanent magnet in flex. This permanent magnet flex rating the torques occur at the low speed while the motor is running the low speed. And the servo motor becomes unstable because of this permanent magnet. So the cogging compensation significantly improve the smooth while the servo motor running the low speed. The key idea is that inside the back of servo drive, it has this coefficient compensation table. So once we select the motor and the drive know which motor is controlling, so it can use the predefined this compensation table to compensate this magnet this in fact inside so it can optimize this uh, slow speed motor running and from this line you can see if you purchase the new servo drive for example ax5000 or ax8000 so the new version of the drive that come with this function also by default this cogging compensation default that is active but some cases if you are using a lower version lower firmware version drive and then you upgrade your server drive into a higher firmware. So maybe that time, this cogging compensation wasn't be enabled. So you need to take carefully. So if you purchase a new drive, so this function is always active at the factory. But if you upgrade your drive firmware, probably you need to check this cogging compensation was active or not, right? It's very helpful. For the AX5000 drive, probably the only key parameter you need to take care of is this P, this parameter. This parameter, you can turn on or turn off this cogging compensation. And here, take care if you are using the third end motor, because the third end motor, that back off drive doesn't have this cogging compensation, this parameter in the servo drive. So this cogging compensation doesn't work for the third end motor. So that only workable for the back off drive and the back off servo motor. Take care about this. And for the AX8000, you go to the drive manager tool project and you double click the motor and then go to the advanced, go to the parameter list. And from the search parameter area, you search this cogging. So those parameter can show up here. And from this selection, cogging compensation control. So for the AX8000, it has couple selection right here. And default, it is using this, use encoder memory cogging compensation parameter if available. So basically, we do not need to change this parameter. We can leave as a default. And this gain by default, that is the one. If you need to turn off this function, you can set gain to zero. And this gain, that range is from zero to two. If some cases you find this cogging compensation that's not high enough, you probably can increase the gain a little bit, let's say 1.2 or 1.5. That compensation data is showing here. If we go online, you can see the actual parameter showing at here. But I highly recommend you do not need to touch this parameter or change those parameter. All those compensation parameter predefined from the back off. Probably for the compensation, the only things you could change is this gain. Maybe increase a little bit or decrease a little bit. And that's it. Okay, then I will show some online test. I will show while the motor is running. So that time, how that compensation works. And now I'm at this online status. I'm using this channel B and I turn off this cogging compensation gain from one to zero. Basically turn off this cogging compensation. Meantime, we can see this area all those values are predefined by back off in factory defined value here. We do not need to change that. So once we enable this cogging compensation gain, all those coefficient and the compensation value will work behind. Okay, now we turn it off, set the zero. 
download. Make sure we download this parameter. And then let's go to the run motor. We can online monitor the velocity, lag, and torque. And then let's go to the program. I need to enable the motor, power on the motor. And then we will run the slow speed. I'm going to fire this motor, just run one revolution per second, slow speed. Okay, let's turn on this online monitor, this online curve, active this torque monitor. Okay, and now we can see this motor is enabled. Okay, we enabled. Now, let me fire this MC velocity. So the motor is running with a slow speed. But because we turn off this cogging compensation, we can see this torque value that we're operating, that in fact is very obvious, right? Let's turn off this motor, okay? Let me shut down this motor. Now I'm going to active that cogging compensation. Then let me go to the advanced. Okay, let me set this gain back to one. Okay, enable the cogging compensation. Don't forget, click the download. Now let me enable the motor. And so after enable, we can see torque is enabled. And now let me run the same speed. Okay, let's fire this MC velocity, one revolution per second. Okay, the motor is running now. And this time we can see with the cocking compensation enabled, the torque, it doesn't have that higher vibrating there. So this is the acceleration and this reached that speed. We can see this is normal vibrating. It doesn't have that so strong vibrating there. Now I'm going to stop the motor and we can compare. We can freeze this curve and we can compare with or without the compensation, how this torque that shows. Okay, I'm gonna turn off this motor. Okay, let me stop this record. And then I can click this zoom out. So we can see the difference here. So this area, that's the process that time we turn off the cogging compensation. We can see how the vibrating range it was. And this area, that's the process we turn on, enable the cogging compensation. This is the normal status. So we can see how obvious this cogging compensation works and how that performance behind. All right, this is the key things I would like to show in this video. We can see this cogging compensation, how that works behind. Again, if you purchase the new servo drive from Backoff, especially from this year, 2021, basically all the AX5000 and AX8000 servo drive, they has been active this cocking compensation. But it's still valuable for you to double check if this cocking compensation got enabled, especially if you upgrade your old version that drive into a higher new firmware. All right, this is the video I would like to show for the cocking compensation, how that performance and how that works behind. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.